return of Captain Cosmic. <laughs> the irony there is that all these thousands of idiots over San Francisco think they have the hot ticket in the Bay Area tonight. They think they're seeing giants. One of the tallest giants is what, six foot tall? We got 400 foot giants on the big screen tonight. Yeah. And they think they're seeing living legends. We got the man here tonight who could dwarf any giant on that team. In person, the Bay Area living legend and icon, Bob Wilkins, a.k.a. Gordon, I think that was 
the cereals. And now, what about the robot that we have here tonight? Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the background. Uh, I don't know where I spotted it, but it went way, way back where I saw us.
<laughs> there you go. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, most of it was uh, in association with a lot of the uh, Japanese programming that was on uh, Captain Cosmic. And there was one, the one thing that I remember, the, this is the biggest thrill for me, was that uh, Captain Cosmic started serializing some of the Japanese monster movies, like the Godzilla films, and showed them five segments on Friday. And uh, I came on to do, uh, to talk about Godzilla vs. the Thing. And Bob said, do you want to just do Monday through Friday? Like, of all five days? He goes, yeah. I'm like, sure. I'm not, I'm not stupid. And that was really, that was a lot of fun. And the big joke that Bob made was like, every day as he introduced me, he goes, well, August rigoni has been staying in 2T2's room. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what my parents thought of that. <laughs> but it was a really great thrill to be, you know, part of uh, uh, Creature Features and Captain Cosmic. And with John, I was on John's show a couple of times. And always had a lot of fun. It was always sort of like, you know, you felt like I should pay these guys, you know, extra. Just for all the, uh, you know, many years of entertainment. Great right? stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
flip between the channels. Both <laughs> segments and rebound. Bob segments for VCR. So you're sitting there, and your parents, of course, are looking at you like you're insane. Because <laughs> <laughs> I did grow up insane. But Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Uh, it was produced in 1994. It's uh, very slow moving. It's, uh, it was sort of, they started, restarted the franchise in 89 with this film called Godzilla vs. Violante. And they were about 1994 running out of steam because they already had signed a contract with TriStar Columbia to produce the big budgeted bad bomb Godzilla film with Matthew Broderick. And so this was just sort of an afterthought movie they just threw in because they were delays with TriStar Columbia. And it basically, that's what it is. It's a throwaway movie. But, uh, <laughs> so stick around for Inframan because that's yeah. a really yeah. good <laughs> um, During the slow parts of Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, which is pretty much, I guess, most of it, uh, <laughs> we're going to have Bob in the lobby. He's going to stick out to about 9 p.m. or so, so you can go meet Bob, and John will be out there selling stuff. Uh, I want to thank Augie for coming up and giving us his expertise. <laughs> Yes, um, Dr. Goolfinger, uh, Berkeley's own horror host, is going to come up and present Bob Wilkins, his idol, with an award. Dr. Goolfinger, is it Dr. Nass? Here he comes. Now, there, there, there's actually a horror host museum being started in Cleveland. That's where all the museums are, rock and roll. Now we've got a horror host museum. Actually, they're including your Stoney, the home of glory. And Dr. Goolfinger. And the whole thing is the brainchild of Nicholas Caesar, who used to live in the Bay Area and moved to Cleveland for, I don't know why, but it was there. And, uh, and he, his inspiration for this whole thing is Mr. Bob Wilkins and Mr. John Stanley, and he has official Chiller Theater awards for them. Dr. Griffin. <laughs> Too many to think. 
and I uh, can't remember who they are anyway, but anyway, they all signed this for John Stanley. John, there you go. And of course, Captain Cosmic. Yeah. 